Hey everyone, thanks guys for coming today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download games from TI Wizard. This is an ongoing issue. I know that Google Chrome and Windows keep coming out with updates to avoid people from supposedly downloading stuff onto their computers. But this video is gonna be showing you guys how to bypass all of the different issues you guys may, may that may occur when you're downloading certain games slash programs, you know, from TI Wizard. And this can help you from from a lot of other different uh, applications um, in your Windows computer life. So let's go ahead and let's click on Mario 2.0 since that's like the most popular file. So I'm gonna click on download and as you guys can see, it's not working. It's low, you can see it's loading at the top, but it's just not downloading. So one option you guys can do is you guys can actually right click and press open link in new tab. And guess what? It still doesn't do anything. It's just like, well, where's the download? So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to this, you're gonna click on this little like lock icon up here and you're gonna click on site settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna, you see where it says insecure content right there. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna press allow. Now you're gonna go back to TI Wizard and press reload right there. Now it's saying not secure because the website's not secure. Um, who knows why? But now when you click on it, it will actually let you download it. So there you go. So that's how you guys download it real quick. I'm going to show you guys another issue that may occur when you guys are downloading stuff. Sometimes it says fail to download uh, virus detected. If that ever happens when it says virus detected, what you're going to do is I put up this notepad here. You're going to go into this directory here and under registry editor. So you're going to go registry right here registry editor and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go back to the top for you guys so you guys actually know where to go but basically the so it's under computer so we're under computer you're gonna click on H key local machine all right and then you're gonna click on software and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to Microsoft all right you're gonna click on Microsoft and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to Windows a lot of scrolling here you guys can see you guys are gonna click on Windows right there you're going to click on current version once you click on Windows. There we go. All right. And then you're going to click scroll down to policies. Man, so many different things. So then there's policies right there. And then when you click on policies, you're going to click on attachments. And you guys can see there's this uh, option right here. It's a scan with antivirus. You're going to double click on it. And right now, my value is set to three. Um, it, your value might be set to one, two, three, etc. You're going to set it to zero. That means that the computer will not scan any files with antivirus and then you can actually go ahead and close it and um, then when you download it if there ever is a virus like fail to download virus occurred it will actually let you download it now um, instead of saying there's a virus so that's like how you guys get around it you guys do have to adjust the chrome settings sometimes you have to adjust the actual computer settings um, but other than that, if you guys have any more questions, concerns, feel free to throw them down in the comments. Other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day.